trivia time with Tammy. No. Yes, it is. No. So, yes. It is. No, it's not. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask. I don't know what it's gonna be. Thirty questions, and then we're gonna give. If we're gonna give Tammy a few seconds to answer it, and you've got to see whether or not you can come up with the answer before Tammy and the right answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. So some of them are easy, some of them are hard. So here's the first one. She won't get this one right, and probably you won't either. What was the uh, the year of the dog in Chinese? You know that each year they have. No, I don't know. What was that the Chinese one. year of the dog? What? Ch yeah, Chinese, oh. Chinese year of the dog. I don't know. Give you three, two, Can't get one. It. The Chinese new, the Chinese year of the dog was 2017. What are you trying to do? Prove to everybody <laughs> how dumb I am. Next one. Question number two. A dog that has an upright tail. What does that mean? He's a happy dog. <laughs> yes, Tammy gets that one right. Very good, Tammy. Yes. I'm a happy, happy, happy dog. At what age do puppies' eyes normally open? Oh, anywhere from eight to ten days. Very good. On very little good. French bulldogs. Yes, very good. I've seen it take longer on other breeds. You so, know. when puppies are born until their eyes open, what senses do they have? Well, they don't have hearing because their ears are closed. That's up. right. They don't have hearing. They have feel the feel. That's they have feel, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Smell. And they have smell, and that's basically it. Very good, Tammy. You're doing good. Yep. So far. At what age do puppies get to about half of their final body weight? Uh, puppies? So how old would a dog have to be, puppy dog, before it, to the point where you'd expect it to be about half of its adult weight? Gosh, uh, probably half of its adult weight. Yes. Gosh. Two months, maybe? Half of their adult weight? Three... You want to change on that? Because everybody, everybody here is thinking what their answers are, and it's not that. Okay, okay. I don't know. Give up. Six months. Well, no, oh, excuse no, me. Four, that's, to, four okay, to five puppies. months. Four, four to five months. Four to five months. Four to five months. Yeah. So, let's, so you weren't far off. You said three, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's you. You, you get half a point of that one. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's no cigar. What, what is the fastest dog? Greyhound. Very good. Very good. Now here's a harder one on that one, since you got that one right. What is the top speed that a greyhound can get to? Oh, I don't know. Guess. I don't know that one at all. Let's I'm see not how close guess. you get. I, I mean, I'd had a guess, but I wouldn't uh, get it right. The, 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 what? <laughs> I don't know. I'm afraid it'll be so stupid sounding. Well, let's see. Let's see. If you say 100 miles an hour. 20 miles an hour. Oh, humans can make that on, on, on uh, I sorry, think. Sorry, I told Usain Bolt you. can make 20 plus. I'm sorry. 44. What? 44. How fast is a... a Cougar Ge or a jaguar. Cheetah. Cheetahs. I think cheetah. cheetahs are the okay. fastest mammals, and I think they can push seventy. And I think I think some birds, especially the ones that dive, they can reach well over hundred miles an hour, like a kestrel, things like that. Mm. But people can correct us on that, and that's another one for undog questions, right? Um, who was the first dog superstar? Lassie. That's what I'd have said, but the answer that the answer oh. I've got here is Rin Tin Tin. Okay, Rin Tin Tin. So I was going to say that on the Rascals, that little dog, but... What was that dog's Rin name? Rin Tin Tin. Well, that'd be a good question. Yeah, so there's yeah. another one. Little For a bonus dog. one. What was his what, name? What is the... Dog? Yes, he had that one patch on his eye. He was a pie, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. With a patch on his... Uh, well, he wasn't a Frenchie. He was no, no, no. He was like, kind of, like, he was like a terrier or something. Yeah, wasn't he? yeah. What was his name? I can't remember. I, mean, I, I can't look that one up while I'm yeah. doing this. So... Yeah. Uh, Darn. Come to, come to me in a moment. Let's go with Spot. No, it wasn't Spot. Um, what is the smallest dog in the world? The smallest dog? Yes. Gosh, I don't know that one because, you know, Chihuahuas can be pretty small. I think that's right. And so answer. can uh, I think that's right Yorkies. There's Yorkies that are two pounds, pound. Yeah, I think that's right. The mother's little Pomeranian so, so, was small. two pounds. Right. So oh, then, God. okay, so the next one is... Where did Chihuahuas come from? Mexico. Mexico, and there's actually a, 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 a town. Well, a what do you call it? a region? A region called Chihuahua in Mexico. How much more sensitive is a dog smell compared to humans? Oh gosh, a lot. 
Is Ten that, times more? It's a lot more than that. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, I think I think they're claiming somewhere between, between 1,000 and 10,000 volts. Times? Yes. Wow. That's why they can use wow. these dogs to sniff out yeah, drugs cancers and, and things cancers like that. And and dead, you know, people are in trouble of humans and drugs. And and yeah, they've got an incredible sense of smell. Seizures that come on. And it always gets to me, it's like when we feed them, you know, we feed our dogs life's abundance. And I mean, it's it doesn't smell bad and it's got some f- flavor to it. But still, I think to myself, well, I enjoy a steak. I just know how much more Kit would enjoy a really nice, juicy steak. Um, all right, next no, question. No, she can't have it. Yeah. <laughs> I keep my dogs on a strict. So, were dogs the first domesticated animals? The first animals that humans domesticated? Caveman days. Yeah. Well, yeah, were they or not? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, they were. That's it. I think you go back to something around 30,000 to 100,000 years ago when we started domesticating dogs. I think dogs kind of hung around the out fringes of... Uh, well, they knew they would get fed when they're around. Yeah, it must have had some purposes too. I mean, uh, you know, I think they would probably keep other animals away, like potentially, you know, wolves and one of those things and uh, keep things cleaned up a little bit. And uh, yeah, and they kind of got themselves domesticated, I think, is what I've read on this. Which lives longer, larger breeds or smaller breeds? Smaller breeds. Tammy gets it right. Tammy's doing pretty good. Pretty good. What is the most popular dog in America today? Today is the French Bulldog. What was the most popular dog last year? French Bulldog. What was the most popular dog two years before that? Labrador. That's right, very good. Right. Can you name all four for this year? In their, in their, in their, I get the first one Frenchy, presumably the second one's a lab. Um, I don't know, what are the other two, what are they? I know that number four is a poodle. Okay. Number three is a German Shepherd. Okay, yeah. That and good. then the Golden Retriever, I think, is the third. Do you know what the biggest dog is? Oh, they're anywhere from great, pro- oh, the Wolfhound. Um, I, I'd have guessed that too, but that's not oh. the answer I got here. Okay. It says the Mastiff. Mastiff. Okay, yes. okay, the that's Mastiff. my second guess. Mastiff. Yeah. And how big do Mastiffs get? Ooh, big. But I thought, I thought, well, they may be taller, the wolfhound, why I thought probably weighed more. Are you saying weighs more or Well, the I, I mean, I think just... That's I, a trick question. Yeah, ooh, that's, that's a good lord. Are they going to pull over, aren't they? Um, <laughs> tell me to let them know that she's there. <laughs> yeah, it's like last minute, pull out in front of me. Um, so, Dalmatians have spots. Yes. Do they have them at birth? No. That's right, they don't. They're born, they're born white. And I found this out on poodles. There's some that are born white, completely white, and then they turn red. Well, I didn't know some that. Some of them, yeah. I didn't know that. That's I didn't either. Right. Yes. Are dogs colorblind? Yes. No. Well, mine is. <laughs> I am throwing an orange stick toy, and I can throw it, oh, I don't know how far I can throw it, but she will lose sight of it, and even not that far Well, at that's, times. that's very interesting, because it then, says here, yeah. Then, but when I have the red ball, she sees it. Well, so it says here that dogs aren't completely colorblind. They can see shades of black, white, which of course shades of black and white would be colorblind, blue and yellow. So there you go. I can see that that you know if you have something oh, like a, 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 just a map, a blue a blue ball on a on a on grass might not be very visible where yeah. a red one might be. Yeah. So that's interesting. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, okay, do I have a blind dog? <laughs> and I knew she was blind. It was just it's just funny that the orange she can't see. It's real vibrant. And uh, yeah, the red ball she can see. Yeah. yeah. What is the best age to adopt a puppy? When they're potty trained. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Also, for the most part, <laughs> when is the best time to adopt a puppy? Uh, well, uh, with French Bulldogs, you need it to be, uh oh, I dropped my deal, um, 10 weeks. But, um, sorry about that. Drop my microphone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so actually it says it. here 8 to 12 weeks. 
which for us that would be 10 weeks because I yeah, probably don't leave till then. Older dogs are, you know, eight weeks. Prob- yeah. Eight I, mean, weeks. I think I think that uh, if you can get a pup, I mean, you know, if you get a puppy. Ooh, when look how bad you're yeah, shaking. I know, I know. It's six months old. Put my purse under it. Here's one that I don't think you'll get. I would have got this one. Um, the Russian dog Laika. Who? Laika. You know I'm not getting it. Who's, what's know. he famous for? Russian dog. Russian dog Laika. He was the first dog. Oh, um, go up yes. in space. Yeah. yeah, he was the first okay. dog in space. That's what right. What about the monkey? In 1957. I think the, I think us, the Americans did that later on. I don't oh, know if okay. the, there was another Russian dog, a female dog that went up and I couldn't tell you. Oh, it was a female, was it? Well, I don't know if Laika was female or male. Laika may have been, I don't know. Yeah. So, like humans, you, you know, humans' fingerprints can tell a, can tell you who they are, right? Right, Through fingerprints. right. What, what is the equivalent thing in a dog? Uh, well, I don't think they're pads because... It's not their pads. Right. I don't know. You got me on that one. Their noses, apparently. Their noses are unique. Huh. Didn't know that. All right. Okay. By the way, masters can grow up to over 200 pounds. Goodness sakes. Good Lord, that's a big dog. Oh, I need to get back in this other lane. Are dogs carnivals? Yes. Yes, but they will eat. I mean, they're, I think they're really omnivores that they'll... I mean, you think, you know, canine teeth being something that they're meat eaters, but I think the dogs are... They're opportunists to eat whatever they, they want to. Yeah. Mine goes around eating leaves in the yard. And boy, yes. when she does, yes. we've got right. stool problems for sure. I don't know if it's the mold on the leaves or on the ground from winter over or what, but man alive, it just tears her up. Yes, And right. she eats them. She, you know, I don't understand it. a dog will eat something that's awful and gives them such a bad tummy problem that... What is the genetic marker for blue? The genetic marker? Yes. If, it, if you have a genetic test done, yeah, what color would it come up with if it was blue? Well, you mean the lettering for, mm-hmm. for blue? Mm-hmm. Little D, little D? That's right. Dilution D. D is in dog. Little D, little D. Give you a few more genetic questions here. Most genes are recessive, which means you have to have two copies of them to be expressed. But some genes that we can test for are dominant. It only takes a single copy. Can you name two? Uh-huh. Brindle. Brindle would be one. And um, oh, I had it on my mind a while ago. I was, um, well, the uh, big row. But they don't have a gene uh, deal No, but there is a gene. We, well, there is a gene, but we don't know what it is. But yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah. I think that's right. I think uh, so that, there's another one. Yeah, there is another one. And we we raise a lot of these. Cream, right? No, no, you no? have to have two copies of cream. Little, 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 little. Yeah. Um, Testable. If I had, if I said I had a nice tweed jacket, what would you say? Merle. Merle. Oh my God! I can't believe I didn't get that yeah, because no, I, I love I, Merle's. I love Merle's too. Yeah. Right, I yeah. Too. Is the pie gene? What's this cop right here? Probably. Yeah. Are you speeding? Yeah. No wave. Yeah. Here comes thirty-five. He's not turning around. That's no. That's good news. Yeah. 35. Otherwise, everybody watching this have to pay for our speeding ticket because you won't pay attention to <laughs> these questions. We're fixed to eat chicken, so uh, we might just ask uh, one more question here. What is the most popular pet overall on the planet? Is it a cat or a dog? Oh, wow. Mm, probably a dog. It is a dog, right. Yes. Right. And that is it for this one. That was fun. Yeah. Bye, buddy. See ya. Reduce score. Tell me how many questions. Are. I'll add them up and put down your score. See yeah, what you got. Okay.